Hi guys, it's Reese Aldrich here, the R&D manager at Diverseco. I'm gonna run through how easy it is to set up a basic weld on your Doosan welding cobalt. So here we've got two 10 mil pieces of mild steel, and we're gonna run through how easy it is to do a six mil fillet along this seam using the Doosan cobalt. So the first thing we wanna do is set up a move J. This gives us a nice start position from home. So we can annotate this with home, so it's nice and clearly labeled. And we can also select a global variable. I've set up a system home uh, variable, which makes it nice and easy to find uh, you know, frequently used positions. So the next thing we wanna do is also have a, the end of our program, so we can use our copy and paste function over on the left-hand side. So, the next step would be to set up our welds. So if you go over to our commands and at the bottom we've got five different welds. In this case, we're using our weld line. It's pre-populated four different positions. So our approach, the start of our weld, our end of our weld and our retract position. So if we go over to our properties for our weld, this is where we set up what the world's gonna be like. So the welding condition we're gonna use is a job nine program six with a travel speed of 36 centimeters per minute. This will give us a nice six mil fillet. So I've selected that one. Next thing is our weave condition. So Doosan has done really well here by you know, including four different uh, weave functions as default. So we've got trapezoidal, zigzag, circular, and sinusoidal. In this case, let's just go through the sinusoidal. So everything's very well labeled. So you can see here the path the weld's gonna take, plus it tells you the different period and weld width that's referenced down below. So weaving width is what was referenced here in the diagram, as well as the period. So they've tried to be really uh, graphical where, where possible. They've also included extra information in some of these icons. So this tells you how to do the adjustment weave path. So you can access that information and play with the drop down functions as need. So for this case, let's just do a nice straight weld. So we'll select not used here. Next thing is to set up our tool center position. So we're choosing to use our welding torch at 45 degrees. That's all that we need to do in this case. So we press confirm there. Next thing, let's run through our four positions. So if you take a step back, I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So all the functions are accessed from the cockpit above, and it's as simple as pressing a button to relocate the torch. So we've moved the torch down here um, to our approach position. We use an approach position just so we can clear any of the parts and have a clear line of sight to our weld. So we don't have to interact with our teach pendant. We can do that all from the cockpit. We just press the center button to accept that position. The next position we're gonna do is the start of our weld. If we press the center button there, we've also locked in that position, and then we go touch the end of our weld, center button again, and our retract, which gets us clear of the piece part. So that's how quick it is to do a, a straight line weld. Once that's done, we can run through the weld and simulate, like simulate it, as well as show you the high quality weld that we can produce. So as you can see here, it's followed the seam from start to finish beautifully and created a excellent quality weld. So thanks for your time today and watching the video. I'm Maurice Aldridge from Diverseco and feel free to get in contact for all your automation and robotics needs.